What's up guys? Coach Cleveland here. And this video is for you if you're a stick and move type boxer. What does that mean? If you're a boxer that likes to move around and throw punches, okay? So here's the most difficult thing. When it comes to that stick and move style, it usually only works if you have really good lead hand, okay? So if you want to stick and move, the number one thing you need to learn how to do is how to jab in all directions, okay? Jabbing forward as you step forward, bam, right? Bam. Jabbing as you step backwards, pushing from the front foot, stick that jab out in his nose, bam, bam, okay? Jabbing and stepping to the left at the same time, pushing here, bam, bam. Jab and stepping to the right at the same time. Bam, bam, okay? Those are the things you need to learn. You need to learn how to jab in every direction. So practice this uh, three or four rounds uh, every time you shadow box. Jab, add that into every um Add that in as a combination that you practice jabbing forward, jabbing backward, jabbing left, and jabbing right. Okay. The next thing that you need to know how to do uh, if you want to be an elusive boxer and move around and throw punches, you need to learn how to throw a check hook. Okay. You need to hook and pivot at the same time. Okay. These are the only two punches that you can really punch and move because everything else, and once you start moving, like, you know, your punches aren't going to have much on them if you're up on your toes. Okay. You need to sit down and order to generate power and keep somebody off of you. But you can set up power shots, boom, if you jab and move, and also if you hook and move, okay? So you're gonna plant your feet when you throw that hook. When you check hook, boom, knees are bent. You're gonna plant your feet. You're gonna pivot out as you hook. So if you wanna be an elusive boxer, move your feet and use your, you know, use your feet as your primary defense, learn how to jab in all four directions, forward, backwards, left and right, and learn how to hook and pivot, okay? Those would be the two things that will help you keep your opponent off balance. Uh, there's actually more to that, but if you want more, you're going to have to come down to the gym and I'll teach you myself. But yeah, these are my tips if you're a elusive boxer and you don't want to get hit much and you want to use those feet, jab in all four directions and learn how to check hook.